Welcome to another JFD Executive Briefing. Our goal is to provide technology strategies to help Microsoft 365 tenants solve emerging issues and optimize their ROI. This week we address a growing priority with many executive teams, the need to revisit their intranet and document management practices. After many months of employees working from home using systems and procedures that were necessarily designed in haste, disturbing trends have emerged that necessitate a remediation. The fundamental problem being uncovered is that company documents are being stored in an ever-increasing number of locations, many of which are undocumented and outside the enterprise. The result isn't just a lack of compliance, but an erosion of the efficiency of the organization when key documents cannot be located or the latest version determined. When work from home began in earnest, Microsoft had only recently released Teams. People were new to OneDrive and still learning modern SharePoint. To support remote employees with chat functions and video meetings, Microsoft Teams was rapidly deployed by many tenants, right alongside their intranets. Suddenly, even meticulously well-designed intranets began expanding as each newly created Microsoft Team automatically created a new SharePoint site with a document library that accumulated the files that were passed between employees during a Teams meeting. Without a coordinated effort to weave these new SharePoint sites into an intranet's overall navigation system, many of them remained largely invisible while they continued to collect documents. And at the same time, employee use of OneDrive skyrocketed. Files were spread all across this growing landscape, an environment typically governed only by default SharePoint library settings. Resourceful employees unknowingly aggravated the situation by adding their own personal Dropbox, Google, and iCloud storage accounts to their work-from-home strategies. This adds the specter of company documents being stored outside the enterprise. Confronted with the knowledge that vital departments may have their key documents spread across dozens of locations, many of which are unknown and even unreachable by the department's own manager, executive management is interested in rapidly fixing the situation. Historically, this would have meant a rebuilding or replacement of an intranet and a significant disruption in business operations. Fortunately, recent improvements in intranet design and migration management software provide an easy way to implement the required cleanup, consolidation, and restructuring. Microsoft's recent switch to SharePoint intranet structures based on a flat horizontal design, with each department site being its own site collection, means that restructuring an intranet can now be done one department at a time. This is an enormous benefit in that it allows the current version of a department site to continue to exist while its replacement is being implemented. Daily routines are not impacted. The process identifies the most critical company sites and prioritizes them to be addressed one at a time. Once a department's replacement site has been created, content consolidation tools like ShareGate are used to collect, transfer, and consolidate the widespread documents back to the new SharePoint site and into libraries that have been named for the original locations of these documents. Once the new site is completed, populated, and tested, the intranet's primary navigation is updated to direct employees to the new site. Using this process, in just a few days, a critical department site can have all their documents consolidated into a single SharePoint site and stored in libraries whose names are already familiar to the staff. These libraries automatically inherit document versioning, can be available to SharePoint Internet Search, and are under the department manager's control. The good news is that now it's possible to rebuild and consolidate an entire corporate intranet without disturbing the daily activities of the organization. We hope this briefing was beneficial, that you'll forward it to interested colleagues and subscribe to this new series.